Hi, Walter. Good night. Hi, Miguel. Good night. Hi. How are you? Good evening. How are you, Miguel? <laughs> I'm okay, and you? I'm good. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Today I felt so good. I felt a lot of energy. I don't know. Today was an amazing day for me. Oh, so nice. Yeah. I'm How about you? Hear that. Yeah. Oh, I'm okay. I have a, nice. a, a day a little busy. I, I imagine. Yeah, it's Monday. <laughs> yeah, it's Monday. All the stream is very full. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Oh, don't mind me. Continue. How do you say, teacher? Hay trabazones por todos lados. There are, <laughs> shower. There's traffic. There, there's, there are traffic jams. No, but you, you cannot pluralize traffic jams. It's just there's traffic jams. Traffic Every, jams. Everywhere. Yeah, traffic? traffic jam. There's a lot of traffic jam. Okay. There's a lot I'm, of traffic. I'm, I'm living in Santa Ana near, oh. near from, uh, near from, uh, uh, I don't know how do you say that, Feria Ganadera, Ganadera Fair. Uh, where have they installed it? Because I'm from Santa Ana. Yeah? Yeah. I my... live near from the University of El Salvador. You live in front of the University of El Salvador. Near in, from. Near, near uh, no, it's not near from. I, you live near the University of El Salvador. You know, that's yeah. a common that's a common mistake. When we say near to, you don't have yeah. to say to. Or, or. Ah, okay. Only you know, near, only just, near uni university. Yeah, yeah just okay. near home. Near my house, near Walter's house, near Alejandra's house. Ah, I got it. Okay. When you use near, you don't need use a connection or you don't need a preposition. You don't need a preposition. Ah, yeah, okay, and, and you get it. confused because you, you can say I live close to the University of El Salvador. So close okay. to, yes, but not near to. Yeah. No, uh -huh. uh, okay, got it, teacher. So yeah. there's a lot it's of traffic. A lot of noise. A lot of noise. A lot of traffic. There's there's a lot of noise. There's yes, a lot of there, noise. There's a lot of noise. Uh, lot it's of normal when when go when I go to the supermarket. La to la despensa. Wall. Yeah. Have you uh, seen my father? You may have seen my father. Yeah. <laughs> you may I, have I, seen I, my father. I, oh really? Yeah, I, sell, um, selling tortillas. Think, oh really? Yeah, near to la despensa. Oh really? The the fat guy, you know, is uh he, he looks like me actually, with with white <laughs> oh, really? hair. Right. Yeah, with white hair. He's always there at noon and I think between three yeah. and six p.m. selling tortillas. Oh, teacher, you mm -hmm. are a, a second. I don't know. Do you say apellido? Surname? Last name? My my last name is. It's Rodriguez. Yes, Rod Rodriguez Linares. Yes, I I am friend. I am friend from Ricardo and Luis Rodriguez. Who are Ricardo and Luis Rodriguez? Ricardo. Uh, and Luis. I remember, and yeah, Ricardo. Luis. Antonio. Ricardo Antonio. No, no, no. Luis Ernesto. Luis Ernesto, that sounds familiar, but I, I don't know. I think, I, I, I think your uncle called, called Antonio. Yeah, Rafael Antonio, yeah. Yeah, he died or passed away. I remember one, one or years ago. Mm, no, no. I had oh, two uncles. I had two oh, uncles. Really? Yeah, Ricardo. Even, uh, yeah, even though... Even though there are another, I think, causing you uh, have a, a, a little business from the inside. Wait, so you're you're a friend of Tio Ricardo. Wait, Tio Luis. I know no, who you're talking another, about. Another Ricardo, but it's Rodriguez. Really? But I know yeah. a Luis who had a sorbeteria in front of Inza. Yeah, but Luis there are, you, are, you have a, another cousin live near yeah. the Centro. Yes. 
That's right. Yeah. Tio, tio, tio Toño. <laughs> yeah. Tio Toño who passed away. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you're your friend with yeah. them? Yeah. Mm, okay. Huh. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> I know. Tio Toño read, read too many books. Yeah. He just, he just read too many books. My dad yeah. is Payo. My dad is Payo. You know Payo? Yeah. Okay. No. 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 What's the meaning Payo? Yeah. Huh? What is the meaning Payo? Payo I don't yeah. know. I don't oh, know. That, that, that's, his, that's his nickname. I don't know why they named him. I don't him know. Payo. I don't know, teacher. I know uh, uh, your aunt live near from Tolteca Hotel. My my um uh, my aunt. Wait, yeah. I mean, you mean my uncle? My uncle? Aunt. My aunt. Which aunt? Yeah. Nah, I don't know. I don't remember. Okay. But yeah, yes, I don't, I don't know, a, but you, I know a, you live a... in Alto del Puerto, Alto del Palmar, right? Yeah. Near near to the university. Near the university. You see, it's very yeah. easy. It's very easy <laughs> to get confused. Near to I don't yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, near yeah. the university. Yeah. Oh, hey. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Santa Ana is a small <laughs> town, although it is really big, you know. Yeah. But everybody knows everybody. You, do you like um, Los Eduardo's bread? Yeah. That's what I miss. <laughs> That's what I really missed from Santa Ana, the bread. Yeah. Man, yeah. that was amazing. Okay, guys. Hey, correcting yourself. You said I had a day busy. Mm. A day busy day? A busy a day. day. Yeah. That's another uh, easy mistake. I had a busy day. I had a busy day. So you qualify in English on the other way, you know, the other way around. In Spanish, you say un carro rojo viejo, right? Yeah. In yeah. English, yeah. you say an old red old car. car. Yeah. So the, the oh, noun okay. goes at the end, yeah. Don't forget. Adjective that. plus verb, right? Hmm? Adjective plus verb or noun no, no, no. In this uh, case? everything that describes the noun goes before the noun yeah yeah everything okay. there's a everything. lot of adjectives to describe yeah. nouns yes yeah. just don't forget that part it's very easy to forget it especially when you when you already hold on who's not here okay um especially when you move to advance when you reach an advanced level no matter how much you practice if you don't work in a call center or you don't live in the states let's say for a while you tend listen you tend to make little mistakes and you don't even realize that's the sad yeah. part okay you, that's yeah. the sad part it's sad it is sad because sometimes you don't find people with the gods you know the gods to tell you hey you made a mistake yeah okay <laughs> I should say you don't find people who love you, okay? You don't find people only, who... only, only teacher find a mistake. Yeah, <laughs> yes. You know what? No, no, no. I was lucky. Walter, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I was lucky because I found in my way, I found people who was very nice. And I was actually yeah. like, yeah. hey, you know what, Walter? If you hear me so saying something wrong, please correct me. It's yeah. very important for me. So yeah, yeah. Some people get upset, you know, when they're learning and yeah. then somebody tells them, "Hey, you made a mistake." Oh, I don't make mistakes. What, what, what you talking about, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm perfect. Yeah. I'm perfect. Yeah. Uh, it's not okay. It's very common, right? <laughs> yeah. In some Loreans, unfortunately, yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's move it up. Let's continue um, with our topics. Hold on a second. I have something here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So tonight you have a lot of work to do. Uh, we have to compare two things, the past continuous versus the simple past, but also we're going to start with a short story. So you will listen to a short story, watch a video about a short story, scary story. Please take notes of it. Any new words, any new vocabulary you may hear. Take note of it. And then you're going to paraphrase. Do you know what is to paraphrase? Uh, say something using my, using my own words. 
Exactly. Just retell something in your own words. Please, let's try, and I'm saying this for me, let's try to avoid using Spanish, okay? okay. In this okay, sure. module. Try to use English as much as you can. Okay, so for example, Miguel Antonio, um, what is a tree? A uh, tree. It's yeah. a plant. Oh. It's okay. a plant that gives uh, fruit. It's oh, really? A... Oh, cool. Sounds oh. like a number. <laughs> Wait, hold, hold on. All <laughs> trees give fruit? Yeah. Mm. Mm. No. I don't sure, right? <laughs> I'm, I, I'm not. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay, don't doubt. Continue. So it is a plant, a big plant. It's a big plant. Yeah, yeah. It's very with, tall. Very tall. And okay. With. Yeah, with. Uh, I don't know how they say it. ramas. Excellent, teacher. How do you say ramas? Or you can challenge a classmate. Challenge a classmate and go okay. like, "Hey, Alejandra, <laughs> how do you say ramas in English?" <gasps> I don't know. Sorry. I don't know. Water, okay. can you help me, please? <laughs> yeah, continue. Branches. 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 Branch. Branch. Branches. Yeah, branches. Okay, branch. Okay. Branches. It has a lot of. It's a plant with a lot of branches. a lot of branches and leaves. And leaves. Yeah, she well, always leaves. Okay. <laughs> 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 That's the plural, okay? <laughs> okay, there you go. Hey, be careful with that. Some verbs are nouns too. Okay, so let me play the video. Please pay attention. I'm going to mute you so we can all just listen and take notes. Ready? Take your notebook. Three, two, one. Or you may go to the chat as well and just type the words. Let's go. Hey guys, you're not going to believe this. I just heard a story about this campground. What do you mean? What about it? I was just at the bathhouse. I had taken a shower and was brushing my teeth when this woman came in with her daughter. She, she was telling her the story, so I listened in. What's so interesting about this old campground? It isn't scary, is it? Because scary stories freak me out. Don't be such a chicken, Molly. Come on, Ellen, tell us the story. Well, this all took place many years ago. Before it was turned into a campground, this land had been a farm. It was owned by a young couple named Theodore and Dolly McShane. Mr. McShane had inherited the land from a relative. So what's so scary about that? I thought this was supposed to be a spooky story. I'm getting to that, just wait. The McShanes were wonderful people. Friendly, sociable, everybody loved them. And they really, really loved each other. Everybody could see it. When they were walking down the street together, they always held hands. When he was working in the fields, he always picked her wild flowers and brought them home to her in the evening. Oh, that's so <laughs> sweet. Oh no, then something bad happened, right? Yes. One day, as Theodore was coming home from town, he saw smoke in the distance. It had been a very hot, dry summer, so fires were a real danger. And was there a fire at the farm? Yes. And as he was hurrying down the road, the smoke was getting thicker and thicker, blacker and blacker. All he could think about was his wife. But by the time he got home, the house was completely in flames. He screamed Dolly's name over and over, but she didn't answer. She was in the house? She died in the fire? Yes. It was a terrible tragedy. What happened then? Well, the poor man went crazy. He refused to believe that Dolly had died. For months, he searched for her. He walked all day and night through the countryside and through the town, searching, searching. And in his hands, he always carried a bouquet of wild flowers for his poor dead bride. So how did it turn out? What finally happened to him? 
That's the spooky part. It's a mystery. People saw him less and less. And then Theodore McShane just disappeared. No one ever saw him again. But the people who live here say he still walks the forest at night looking for his lost bride. <laughs> Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you ladies. I was making my rounds and wanted to see if everything is all right. Yes, a park ranger, of course. Yes, everything's fine. Ellen was telling us a spooky story when you came by. Campfire stories, huh? That's always fun. Well, OK, then. I'll let you get back to it. Thanks for checking on us, and sorry about the screams. Oh, that's OK. I'm used to it. Hey, in the morning, you ladies should take a look down that path. There's a field full of wildflowers in there in bloom right now. Very pretty. Oh, that's good to know. We'll do that, thanks. Here's some for you to enjoy. In case you need anything, I'll be at the ranger station. Thanks again. Oh, what's your name? I'm Ted. Theodore, really. But my friends call me Ted. Ted McShane. You have a good night. Okay, I think I think you got scared, right? At some given point, I saw Walter face was like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> <laughs> the music, the music was thrilling. Okay, I took some notes. Uh, let's see, she had inheritance. I, I don't like this word, you know, because I don't use it very often. But I, I know about this website called Heritage. Heritage. But inherit inheritance is like when you get something from a family member who passed away. Yeah. Okay, she had inherit inheritance. It's not an easy word. It's not a common word. Let's say inheritance. Inheritance. I don't know. It's really weird. Um, but I just typed an example sentence. She had inheritance uh, castle. She was in the house. She died in the fire. Now, with these two questions on your chat here in Zoom, I want to point out, I want to point out how normal it is for Americans to make questions, to make questions uh, violating the rules of grammar. You see, did you notice? They said, she was in the house. Okay, she died in the fire. And these are affirmations, mm -hmm. right? Not questions. Yeah. Yeah, it's true. Really... Okay. So it's not like, was she in the house? Did she die in the fire? Okay. Now, she refused. I love the pronunciation. She refused to believe. Okay. How did it turn out? How do you say, como terminó in English? Mm -hmm. Finish? No, how, how do you say finish? como terminó in English? Okay, teacher. Um, the history uh, for she um, mm. is turned uh, in real, reality. It turned out to be real. Oh, to yeah, be real okay. It turned out to be real. No, I just wanted to point out that, you know, how it ends maybe. No, no, no. It, they, it's on the chat. How did it turn out? Como terminó? How did it turn out? Mm -hmm. Como salió? How did it turn out. Como salió? Hey, how did it turn out? You had an interview. You had an interview today for a job. And when you get home, your wife or whoever tells you, hey, how did it turn out? How did it turn out? Or you had an appointment with a girl or a boy, you know, and you you were in love, you know, with this guy. <laughs> and your friend and your friend asks you, hey, hey, how did it turn out? Did it did it turn out? Did it turn out right? Did it did it turn out? 
Did it turn out? Okay, did it turn out right? Yeah, it turned out. Is he your boyfriend now? Is she your girlfriend now? You see? Turned out. So that, that's a phrasal verb. Turned out. Now, guys, nowadays. Is carry out? What is the meaning? No, look at the chat. Look at the chat on Zoom, Zoom chat. Turn out. The, the guys that like Daniel, I think that is young. I don't know. Uh, Alejandra, Daniela, Janet, I don't know. Today, teenagers, they tend to say, they tend to say, hoy resulta. So that's the way you say it. Turns out. Turns out. Resulta. Hoy resulta. It turns out. Oh, yeah. And this comes from that song. Turned out for what? Da, 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 da. Right? Turned out for what? Okay, guys. So <laughs> I'm going to split you in small groups. We are just 16 tonight. What's going on here? Okay. I'll split you so you can paraphrase in your own words. You can watch the video again if you want. You can share the screen if you want on your small group so you can retell or paraphrase the story using your own words, okay? You got it? Yeah. yeah. Okay, try to cover as much as you can. This is on your platform, 4.1, you need four. Four point one. Go to the platform and share your screen if you can, please, with your classmates. Okay, small groups, four on each group. Let's go. Hi. Hello. Hi. Hi. Hi, Rosa Maria. Hi, Daniela. Nice to see you, Roberto. Okay, we have to paraphrase the video, right? Can you repeat, please? We have to paraphrase the video. Mm. It is in the platform. No. Somewhere, someone else is talking, or uh, I can't hear anything. Marjorie and Roberto, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Can you hear me? Yes, yes. I can oh. hear you. Um, okay, I saw. Uh, I have a... I don't know, really. <laughs> Teacher, how do you, uh, what is the meaning of this? No, uh, 
is it? Scream it out. Scream it out. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yeah, the, the story, the scary story freak me out. What is the meaning? Freak out. Freak out, oh, okay. Yeah, to get scared. Mm -hmm. It's in, in this context, the way she she used it is is like to get scared. It's like it's saying scared. that scares me out. That scares That's me scary. out. Scared. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's a synonym. Okay, synonym. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Get Molly. Come on, Alan. Tell us the story. Well, Alton many years ago. Before it was turned into a campground, this land had been a farm. It was owned by a young couple named Theodore and Dolly McShane. Mr. McShane had inherited the land from a relative. So, what's so scary about that? I thought this was supposed to be a spooky story. I'm getting to that. Just wait. The McShanes were wonderful people. Friendly, sociable, everybody loved them. And they really loved each other. Everybody could see it. When they were walking down the street together, they always held hands. When he was working in the fields, he always moved her wildflowers and brought them home to her in the evening. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> oh no, then something bad happened, right? Yes. One day, as Theodore was coming home from town, he saw smoke in the distance. It had been a very hot, dry summer, so fires were a real danger. Was there a fire at the farm? Yes. And as he was hurrying down the road, the smoke was getting thicker and thicker, blacker and blacker. All he could think about was his wife. But by the time he got home, the house was completely in flames. He screamed Dolly's name over and over. She didn't answer. She was in the house? She died. Fire? Yes. It was a terrible tragedy. Who can explain uh, the story uh, when words or words? Andy? And I continue or yes or no? See, I can complete the, the video, guys. We see complete. Do you think it's necessary? Are you mute, Wendy? I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's not necessary. Okay. Then we can start to, to describe uh, what, some part what do you of think the about video. The, 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 what do you think about the history, Wendy? Tell us. It was and interesting. We write. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. And the, okay. The history start 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 it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, with three girls into the into the woods. Um. One of them listening to the and uh, in history. history from from a child with her mother while she was yeah. brushing her feet. Yeah. I think, yeah, right. Yeah. And the other two girls, it was, it was they, they were interested to, to listen about the history. Yeah. And the history start to explain that it was a couple that everyone in the town loves loves that couple or see the how much love they they have each other yeah and spend time together and be in love and everything like that yeah continue walter <laughs> yeah the history the spooky story talk about uh, a couple they yeah. were loved and suddenly, remember the story talk. Uh, they come to the downtown walk, walk. Suddenly, saw a lot of smoke, and saw your farm in, in flames. I think the farm was firing. 
exciting, I think, yes. And uh, I don't know, remember about the, 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 the situation because suddenly I understand uh, someone uh, went to the downtown uh, walking using some flower in the hand and find or searching about someone in the downtown I don't know is the wife or the or the or the, or the husband. And she died. Don't remember that. Yeah, but um, someone always find to search in the downtown, in the around the downtown, and another place, and try. Suddenly, um, suddenly, when the girl tried to talk about the spooky story, uh, the other girls, the other girls uh they felt freaky freaky out because suddenly the i don't know is the policeman to approaching under the the night approaching and they feel scary yeah so uh the the the, the most emotional is the policeman uh <laughs> have a uh, uh, a flower in your hands because try to describe in the history for such reason or oh, oh, the girl felt 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 freaky up yeah they felt police, scary yeah they i the, tried the to say was, that the, yeah yeah the go. police was a uh, Theo, theodoro mcchains yeah, yeah like, yes. like uh, sounds the name of the, is, the, the, the voice yes. in the history. Ah. <laughs> is this his yeah, name? Yeah. That is the, the most important point. Theodoro McChain. Uh -huh. But do you remember, yeah. do, do you rem do you remember Carlos? Well, uh, I heard that the man who was working uh, in the history, he was found, yeah. uh, found, found in, uh, I don't know, Yes, wow. looking looking for her uh -huh. for her love yeah. that 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 she died. I don't know. I don't understand how how, how she died. How she died? Yes, I don't yeah, know. How she died? Suddenly, yes, yeah. I heard that he was walking in the, the downtown in the yeah. in the park. So she died in a fire. Looking yeah. for a for her love, but I don't know how she died. Um, then uh, she appeared in the in the with the three girls that was talking about the history. Yeah. And so <laughs> I think it, it, he was the man of the, of the history. Yeah. <laughs> that is the most important point. The I, history became to reality. Okay. Yes. The, the, the man, the policeman uh, was, the, was the man in the history, in that history. More or less that, that, I, that, I, that I remember in that, in that, 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 that video. Okay. 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 What about you, Osman? I, I don't understand all video, uh, but uh, I had it, I got it, the idea, right? Mm -hmm. I, he understand the first girl or, or the girls uh, has that has to tell the story history. Uh, she told about uh, somebody work in the forest. I understood to the, these people. Uh, uh, Llevaba, I don't know, llevaba flowers, flowers. He uh, was. He was flower, flowers. Uh, 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 that's all. Uh, well, also, also, I understand mm -hmm. uh, in the in the in the end uh, when she is pick uh, slowly. Uh, the, the the men okay. get get there. Mm -hmm. uh, I understand that the the men the men uh, 
uh, it's like some, someone speak up. Era como la persona que estaba hablando, la muchacha. And I understand when the what, man give, what, give, is, what do you think uh, for, for the, for they, she, or they, they is considerate the history is turn out really re reality or is is a false uh, history what do you think what considering do you the, the 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 final of the of the yes, history the i think it's a true story yes 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 Her story but she, but they see, they saw uh, the, the the history is come true. Okay, I don't. <laughs> I believe the the <laughs> I I think the history for day it's come true. Yeah. True. What does that mean? It's come true. Comes through. Comes true. Ah, true. 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 Comes true. Comes true. Comes, Comes true. true. What is the meaning in Spanish? Es Spanish is convertirse en realidad. Ah, yeah. uh, comes true. Comes okay. The dreams come true, and I, I, I listen uh, to music, yeah. song. The, 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 the wishes is come true, okay? okay. Uh, well, what's, what uh, do you see in the, in the, in the final? Uh, I don't she, know. Uh, she, let me see. Um, she, she died in, into the house or she died in, on the fire. I don't understand. I don't know. Uh, she was on fire. She was in house or or at home, or she was, or she died or on, on fire. On, I understand fire. the house was on fire. So yes, uh, is if. She died on the house in she was well, she died on fire. Okay. And yes, yes, I think the same. Yes. Uh, she died in the fire. In the house. Yeah. Okay. That's right. Nice. Uh, have a question. Uh, have you ever have you ever how do you say have you ever been scared? Scary? Scary? Mm -hmm. Scary, come on, his name is scary. Scary, 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 being a scary story. No, no, in the in the real life. Ah, okay. Uh, sometimes, uh, hmm? sometimes uh, I I was uh, frightened. Really? I don't know if uh, I'm using the the correct word, uh, teacher. To say asustado? Scared. I've never been scared. 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 Yep, I've never been scared. Uh, sometimes when I, I have had uh, bad uh, dreams, maybe I wake up and, and uh, I was scared. Yes. But not about by real things. Yes. Uh, in my case, I never been scared. I I think I don't have um, a paranormal experience, so I don't I don't feel scared <laughs> with these things, right? But I feel scared when. Uh, an important event that that you talk 
about another person or in front of person. In these activities or in this case, I feel scared. <laughs> mm -hmm. But for that's no being day. nervous. It's not to get scared. <laughs> <laughs> I know, but my I'm not. So... I'm not that ugly, Alejandra. I am not that ugly. No soy tan feo for you to get scared, okay? <laughs> D don't get scared. <laughs> okay, let's go back. You have to okay. get this straight, okay? Let's see who got so it. So I have a question, teacher. Hey. Uh, sometimes I I listened that in the in the video said uh, cookie story or cookie path. What means it? I don't know if I I I, I don't understand. I, I don't listen it well. It's not cookie. I think uh, they said something else. Spooky, spooky, spooky. spooky. spooky okay, okay. That's a spooky story. Scalofriante. Ah, okay. And a spooky story. Spooky. Spooky. Mm -hmm. And what is the meaning of freak me out? Oh, to get freak out, uh, it's to um, get scared is another way. It's a synonym of scared. Uh huh. That freaks me out. She freaks me out. Uh huh. Freak out. Yeah. And there's a song from the 70s as well to freak out. Okay, let's go back. Sure. Okay. Okay. Okay, where is everybody? Where is everybody? Hmm. Sorry, I'm just waiting for the others, guys. Eight, seven, six, five, four. Three, two, one. Teacher. Hey. And the history said, what is the work of that machine or don't say it? Because I don't, I don't remember. I'm sorry. Let's correct something before we move on. Okay. Let's correct a few things. Huh. Let's start with the difference between his story and story. Okay. Many of you are saying history. Okay. You say he history. 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 The is history. That's right. History. I'm just gonna type the way it is read. Uh, that, that that's the way you should read it. History. Okay, history. history, history. So there's just one history. Okay, there is just one history, and that's your history, my history, humanity. Okay, human history. That's there's just one history. Okay, there are many, there are thousands of stories. Oh. Stories, okay. There's story. a lot of stories. In fact, they there are like four toy stories, right? Like a tales. Yeah. Tales, yes, exactly. Exactly. There are many stories. Be careful with that. History, no. Uh, so the story, this was a spooky story. Okay. This was a spooky story. Uh, how do you say? Se volvió realidad. You don't say it became to reality. I'm just going to put the notes here. Hold on. You can see it. So it became to reality. Uh -uh. You say it became real. 
Okay, it became real. Man, it okay. became real afterwards. I do not understand the old video, many of you. Este, esta serie de oportunidades las he visto mucho en, toda, en todos, okay, no solo un estudiante, so let's pay attention. I do not understand the old video. In that case, you say the whole, the whole video. Man, I, I didn't get the whole video. I didn't get mm -hmm. the whole video. The whole, the whole video. Oh, uh, the complete video? Mm, nah, that sounds weird. I yeah. slept, I, for example, a clear example. I usually sleep the whole afternoon. Yeah. Man, I usually sleep the whole afternoon. The whole. Dormi la noche entera. Teacher. Hey, hey. Can I say beca become true? Became true? Dreams become true. Yes. This story became true. Okay. Simple past. Simple present. Yeah. Okay. Okay. It next. What do you think? Think? Okay. What do you think? Repeat. Think. What, what, do you think? Do? what do you think? 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 Okay. What do you think? Again. So you say, what do you think? 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 Close, Daniel, but you say think. What do you think? Think. What do you think? 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 Okay. Sáquela, muérdala y soplela. Desde este día, desde este día y mientras que estás aprendiendo, um, cuando nadie te esté viendo, mordete la punta de la lengua. No está acostumbrada tu lengua a estar entre tus dientes. Cuando nadie te vea, mordete la punta de la lengua y cerra los labios. ¿no? Y cuando nadie te vea, solo, solo abrí los labios y soplas un poquito. Si quieres, pones la mano al frente. Si no sentís el viento, eso no sirve. ¿Ok? ¿Qué? Claro, con la, con la mascarilla es muy probable que sintas el viento regresando a la nariz. O sea, un indicador de que lo estás haciendo bien. ¿Por qué es importante esto? Porque la TH está presente en muchas palabras en inglés. A veces está al principio, a veces está en medio, a veces está al final. Siempre va a ser una Z. A veces vas a soplar, a veces no. Por ejemplo, en esta palabra no, perdón, en esta palabra no vas a soplar. The. 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 That's it. The. Okay. But the position of the tongue is the same, right? The Between position the, of the, the tongue. Thing. Yeah, the position of the tongue is the same. That's true. Okay. Uh, let's see. What do, you, what do you think? What do you think? So what do you think? 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 Perfect. Es una Z. Es una Z. Next. 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 Okay. Spooky. Right, it's a spooky yes. story. Uh, it's it's spooky story. That freaks me out. That freaks me out. Okay, she she freaks it's me out. Freak me yeah. out like uh, it's como me aterra. Kind of, yeah. It's it's like I get scared. I I yeah. I had a neighbor. I had a neighbor who had an eye to this side, you know, and she was very old, and she was like. <laughs> I don't know. So she used to, she used to freak me out. She used to freak me out when I was a kid. I was like, oh my God, there it comes. Niña, Niña Hilda. Here comes Niña Hilda. Oh my God. Run, run. Okay. Okay. Who wants to retell the story? Go ahead. Okay. I'm all ears. I'm all ears. Okay, I'm all ears. The story starts with three girls in the woods. And one of them was brushing her teeth and listened about 
a history from a girl and her mother. Mm -hmm. Anything else? <laughs> Again, listen, a story. A story. A story. Uh huh. About a girl and. Uh, with three girls. Oh, and okay. one of them uh -huh. was brushing her teeth. Mm -hmm. Yes, and listened the story from the, a girl with her mother. Oh, what happened then? And she go. She went to the other two girls and retell the story. It was uh, about a couple in the town mm -hmm. and help me Walter. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, yes, that girl uh, mentioned that couple uh, no. they love they love so much, enjoy to walking in the in the in the, in the street and they enjoy to pick up some flowers and uh, in the field field yeah suddenly um the, the the husband i think the husband come to the downtown to walk in the streets when suddenly saw a lot of smoke in in his farm but in his farm uh they they uh, she uh his wife staying in his farm um suddenly the the farm um uh, uh, i don't know how to say estaba quemando his farm was mm. was dead. get was fired. 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 Was fired. 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 fires 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 and fires and so a lot of flames in your house i think but the problem was the husband never found his wife because I think died a consequence by the fire. And I remember the husband always tried to find his wife and around the downtown and around the downtown always have a, a flower in your hand try to find her wife. But when the one of girls tried to end the story, story, um, the policeman approaching, approaching a uh, girl, and they they felt freaky out about the policeman because of the turn, uh, because of the I think the end. Uh, the policeman is uh, the real, the real uh, person who one of their tried to speak in the history. I think that. Okay, that was very extensive. Grand applause for Walter. Good job. Okay, and this is the point, you know, that the more you talk the more you get out of me, which is the, the whole point of this class, for me to help you. So help me help you. Okay, ayúdenme ayudarles. Okay, help me help you. Okay, in other words, talk, 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 talk. Hey, in, hey, go ahead, Joaquin. I didn't, I didn't listen, uh, I didn't listen that they, they were uh, men and wife. Hmm. You didn't hear? Yes, I didn't he hear. Yes. In the I story, didn't. in the story that they were the man star? and wife. Okay. okay. You, you didn't. Husband okay. and wife, I'm sorry. Yes. Okay. You, you didn't hear. Okay. He's I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, he's paraphrasing. <laughs> yeah, a couple. So w were they married or not, guys? They were just <laughs> a couple. A couple. Yeah, I think, yes. A they couple. were just couple. Yeah, they were a couple. 
Okay. Okay, so let's review this grammar, uh, Walter's grammar really quick, because this could be you too. Okay. <laughs> this could happen to you. I mean, all of you. Just listen. Uh, so the first part, in the town, in the town, uh, there's a story in town. Just remember about this. There's a new kid in town. Right? I don't want to hear about him. There's a new I don't know, teacher, but the, the eagles, the eagles, the <laughs> eagles. Yeah, Remember, yeah. there's a new kid in town. In yeah. town. So they didn't in say town. in the town because when you say the, it's very important or it's very specific. Yeah. Okay. Uh, in the town of Santa Ana. Okay. That's very specific. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. They mentioned that couple loved so much that couple loved so much okay that that's okay right they help me help me guys they mentioned that the couple loved so much right there i need the article uh they mentioned that the couple oh loved yeah, so much couple. because i'm i'm telling the story so i'm talking about the couple Vengo it's hablando a de la pareja de atrás. Yeah, it's a specific couple. Yeah, yeah. yeah so couple ya, están en, ya, ya está en el contexto que estoy hablando de una pareja. So they mentioned that the couple loved so much. Okay. The husband come to the downtown to walk in on the street. Okay. There I got lost. Hold on. The husband. Ahora, algo que te puede pasar, y perdón que les hablen en español, pero hay que hacerlo en el tiempo, es que te desubiques con el tiempo. O hablas en el pasado o hablas en presente cuando Exacto. narras. Ok, just be careful with that part. ¿Y cómo corrijo eso, teacher? Bueno, no durmas ahora. Una hora más, quédate, reescribí esta historia. Trata de hacer todo en pasado. Identifica qué áreas de oportunidad vas a encontrar. Lo más común es esto, cómo conectar las ideas. Let's see, the husband came to came ahí ni siquiera necesito la, la proposición to ni el artículo the the husband came downtown uh, to walk ojo no puedo poner to walk in ¿sí? o pongo la en infinitivo o pongo el gerundio pero no tendría sentido cambiar el sentido de la oración si ocupo el, el, el gerundio the husband came downtown to walk on the street Esta oración sí tendría sentido. Uh -huh. Ok. El esposo vino a, al pueblo o al centro, no sé, para caminar en la calle. Si dijese, the husband came downtown walking on the street, el esposo vino al centro caminando en la calle. Ya cambió el sentido. Oh, okay. ¿Ya? Yeah, it's very Tiene sentido. Ajá. Ok. What's getting on fire? Ahí eh, les escuchaba yo decir... Okay, um, they heard the house was getting on fire. Ojo con esto, que es el siguiente tema. The house had set on fire. Pasado simple, had set on fire. Pasado continuo, was getting on fire, was setting on fire. Se estaba prendiendo. Okay, se estaba mm -hmm. incendiando. Se incendió. O había prendido, pues, se había prendido en fuego. Was set on fire, had set on fire. Cuidado con eso. Eh. Eh, mañana vamos a hablar de eso, la diferencia entre el pasado simple y el, present, y el pasado continuo. Esta historia era el punto de, de, de partida para de la partida. gramática esta, ¿eh? Porque cómo recontás algo y te vas Exacto. a notar mañana que veamos la gramática y por eso les invito a que hagan este ejercicio ahorita que terminemos la clase. Quédense una hora más. Dedíquenle un poco más de tiempo a eso. Recuenten la historia. Enfóquense en utilizar pasado continuo y pasado simple. ¿Ok? Y van a notar que una actividad, una acción en pasado simple detiene una en pasado, en pasado continuo. Yeah. I, was, I was taking a shower and then the phone rang. Y ahora vamos a hacer un juego de eso. Mm -hmm. I was taking a shower when you called me. Mm -hmm. ¿Sí? Eso molesta. ¿no? Yeah. Man, ring, 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 ring. Y vos, a lo mejor de lavarte la cara, contestás. Sí, aló. ¿Y por qué no contestás? Aló, aló, tú, 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 tú. 
right? Y todavía, o te contestan y todavía, te interrumpo. Tres <laughs> <laughs> de la mañana. Okay, guys. Think about it. Take notes of these areas of improvement and practice, okay? So we can do it tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye.